What's up, people? What's going on? It's the first of the month. Um, it's December 1st, man. This is day one of Vlogmas. Again, we're back again. I've been doing Vlogmas now. This is my third time doing Vlogmas, so welcome back. Um, let's just get into a catch-up. I know I'm like Mr. Inconsistent with, you know, this, but I'm just extremely busy all the time. I just have craziness to do. You see that pimple right there poking out? You see that on the side? That ain't no coolness. Let me turn this. Nah, um, been extremely busy. Just actually got back from Virginia working on music, uh, shot two videos. I, whew, what else did I do? Uh, completed my Christmas EP and, um, got the re-release of my second project together and got that ready. So, Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned some more. So we'll be coming up on, um, we just finished Black Ink Crew. Uh, it's not all about TV this round. Um, <clears throat> let me think. Yeah, I'm saying, um, you know, it's my favorite word, apparently. We are on the finale of Love & Hip Hop Hollywood tomorrow. This just felt like the longest season ever. I'm like, is this shit still going? Like, how many episodes we did this season, Mona? Damn. Um, then you got two episodes of the reunion, but... We two weeks away, man. As of today, we are two weeks away from the return of Chrissy, the queen of love and hip-hop, the entire franchise, the first lady, all of that. We finally got her back. The prayers have been answered. I was one of many who was like, yo, this ain't shit without Chrissy. It ain't never gonna be shit. You ain't got a chance. But not only are they bringing Chrissy back, they got to Harry too. This about to be major. Um, Let's see. What am I watching right now? We about to finish up Ambitions. Ambitions been good as hell. I don't care what nobody say. Ambitions been the shit. I hope we get renewed. Ambitions has been popping. Um, the Oval, Tyler Perry. Sisters surprised me. They really hyped up the Oval like Oval was going to be that shit. And it is. The First Lady, uh, Crime Lord is her name, but uh, Victoria Franklin is the First Lady's character's name. Her character is hilarious. She is really uh, just... She's gonna go down in history, this character, as one of the most complex, craziest, most uh, no-nonsense, take-no-shit type of characters ever. She's gonna go down in history. She's an amazing actress, this lady. Um, but Sisters is fucking hilarious and relatable because we all got friends that are stupid, like a couple of the characters in the show that just make dumb decisions. We all have friends like that. And you it'll make you talk to the screen like you're talking to one of your people. It's like, yo, what are you doing? Um, let's see. So, Queen and Slim is in theaters right now. A must-see for everybody. Uh, that is one for us. That's for the culture. Go see it. Go see it. Go see it. Melina Matsukis, um, you guys know her. I first discovered Melina way back in 2006 when she was doing videos for Sharifa and Ludacris. And, you know, she was the one who had those colorful yet simplistic videos. Her videos were fashion. And, oh, Beyonce, of course. Um, you know her a lot from Beyonce's work. She did Formation, if you really want to know. And get into get in deep with Melina's work. And um, I believe she's been doing some things with Insecure as well. Uh, let's see. What else we got going on? Uh... The Game just dropped the album. Fabulous just dropped the album. They both dropped on the same day. Great day in hip hop. It felt like it was like 2007 or 2006 or 2005. Again, it really felt like the early 2000s. Um, the Millennium Tour 2020 dropped. The dates actually come out tomorrow. Uh, Omarion's headlining with Bow Wow. So it's almost like the Scream Tour 4 from 2005, 15 years later. So it's like a 15th anniversary. Uh, Pretty Ricky's also on this tour again. Yin Yang Twins are on this tour this time around, um, like they were last year, both well, this year and for next year. And then we got Sammy this time. Sammy was a big request, so he's basically replacing Mario. And Lloyd is back. Uh, again, no ladies. There is talk of people wanting a female Millennium Tour. Who would you want to see on a female Millennium Tour? I call it the Miss Millennium Tour. I said, in my opinion, you should have Sierra, Ashanti. Keisha Cole, uh, Ramada, do, 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 do. who else did I say? Carrie Hilson and Trina. And I believe I said Cherish would be a great opening act. But yeah, I think those would be some dope, dope people to go on a female millennium tour. And, you know, in between time, you know, have appearances from Book Valentine and, uh, you know, Tierra Marie. People like that. You know what I'm saying? People that were popping in the early 2000s and that we still rock to today. You know what I'm saying? I don't know anybody that's not listening to Keisha Cole still today. 
you know, and Ashanti and Sierra, etc. So I think that would be a dope lineup. What do you think? Who would you want to see on a female Millennium Tour? Speaking of tours, the Pussycat Dolls are back. Uh, this time it's Nicole, Carmeet, Jessica, Ashley, and Kim. Carmeet actually came back. Uh, Melody did not rejoin the group this time around. She's actually trying to launch a solo album right now, which I've been waiting for. Her first solo project, the uh, POYBL project, is just dope. Still great. I wish it was on streaming services because it's amazing. Um, they had their first reunion performance. It's been 10 years since they've been together. I can't believe it went by so fast. On the X Factor Celebrity out of London where Nicole Scherzinger is a judge. And the shit was... They ate. They fucked it up. I mean, they, that shit, they killed it. Just, just, just know they killed it. They did a medley in like four or five minutes. They debuted a new song called React. It was just the shit. So they're currently announcing UK and Australia and Ireland dates. And I believe US might be next. But yeah, their, their comeback is on a hundred. It's just like days, just, you know, boom, performance, boom, dates, boom, promo, boom, just everything. They, they definitely, uh, on top of shit they really are uh let's see jojo nominated for her first grammy with pj morton for say so grammy nominations dropped lizzo led the pack with eight nods i think she deserves every one of them people are referring to lizzo as a new artist you cannot refer to somebody as a new artist when they have been grinding and they've been indie and doing projects on their own. You must count the work before and the work going forth. You cannot just say, oh, that's your first album. It might be the breakthrough, but that's not the first. You gotta count it all. Same thing with Nipsey Hussle, Rest His Soul. You know, people was like, Victory Lap is it. Yeah, that's the debut mainstream. That's the debut label album, but let's be clear, Nip had projects going all the way back, and that's that. Our, uh, let's see, Davies album came out, Survival. I loved it. Uh, what do I want to see? I really uh, he performed with Tiana recently. They just did their joint on, I believe, was it Camel? One of them. Tiana Taylor's album is about to come out. Who else about to drop? Uh, somebody else is about to drop an album or something. I'm trying to think about who it might be. Huh. I'll get back to you on that. Somebody about to drop an album though. Let me see. Let me think. I think Jim Jones just dropped something, but if somebody else is getting ready to drop or they just drop. Either way, great time for music right now. Um I hear Danity Kane is preparing to come back next year and drop tour dates and more work, more music, videos, all of that good stuff. And I also hear that I'm making the band tour is still coming together. Hopefully, I have a few ideas and I've been submitting a few things to some of the people attached to that. So let's do this. Uh, hmm. Yeah, man, I saw Hustlers. I don't know if anybody saw Hustlers. It's now on demand. Hustlers like came and went as far as the movies. You know, it was the biggest thing. And then, you know, um, it was very successful. Lizzo was in that as well. Cardi B was in that. And of course, Jennifer Lopez led the way. She was an executive producer. And I feel that she deserves her her just due for this movie. I don't believe as an actress she's got her just due. El Cantante was an amazing movie that she deserved an Oscar for. She deserved her Oscar for Selena. And um, Enough was dope too. She's done a lot of great films and she did not get what she deserved. But I feel like this one right here is going to be the one that's going to get it. And if, they don't get, if this don't get it, y'all slept. Uh, let's see. 911 just had their finale. They got a spinoff coming called 911 Austin, I believe. Eh, I don't know if I'm in yet. You know, the whole reason I'm invested in 911 the way that I am is because the queen of acting, Angela Bassett, is on there. Um, yeah, Empire's in its final season. Yeah. There's no Jesse Smollett. There's barely any uh, Yaz. It's Andre kind of leading the way. And Cookie. And Lucius. And a lot of focus on Becky's label with Giselle. I have no idea what's happening with this season or where the hell it's even going. 
But I'm keeping up because I spent five, almost six years of my time being invested in this shit. So I'm going to finish it out. Believe you me. But justice for Star, I really hope that we get that movie that Lee Daniels said we was going to get because we deserve it. Star shouldn't have been canceled. We still deserve Star. I still am bitter about that. Uh, especially with the way it ended, like the finale episode. Not cool. Speaking of which, Ryan Destiny just dropped a video. I think it's her first solo joint, as a matter of fact. Uh, Sean Bankhead was the choreographer for that. Of course, you know, he's incredible. Let's see. Is that all? Yeah, man, just catching up with a bunch of stuff. Like I said, my Christmas EP is coming. Uh, I'll have more on that tomorrow's Vlogmas. And yeah, just a lot, a lot of stuff coming for next year. I have completed work for this year musically. I won't start back on any work musically until next year, until January, February time. And until 2020 kicks in, I just want to make sure I complete 2019 right and set up 2020 right. Anyways, guys, I'll be back with another one tomorrow. Like right now, it was just to catch up. Tomorrow, we're gonna have questions, answers, advice, all of that good stuff. Shout out to the new followers and subscribers. Make sure you follow me everywhere at Eric Unedited. That means Instagram, Snapchat. Snapchat is actually Eric Dash Unedited, and Twitter as well, Eric Unedited. And um, yeah, man, like I said, stay tuned. If you wonder where the hell all the glitter is from, I'm paying attention to it myself. That's Christmas decorations because tis the season. Anyways, guys, much love. Stay crazy.